and he had messaged me on there because I had blocked him on everything else. Adam Driver is just... Someone tweeted recently, they were like, it's not a personality trait to think that Adam Driver is attractive. And I just felt really attacked. That's just the thing about living in an apartment complex. Sometimes you gotta hear what your neighbors are doing. And you gotta hear them when they're doing. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Sonia Elsie here. So for today's video, I'm really, really excited because I have a Chipotle mukbang, woo! So basically, we have some Chipotle in front of us right here and um, yeah, I'm really excited. So I was planning on filming this video a lot earlier. If you can tell the guac is a little bit less green than it should be. Um, first of all, because guac gets brown so fast. Second of all, because I was, you know, about to film this and my fire alarm went off in my apartment and I was like, oh shit, we gotta go outside. And so um, even though my apartment has fire alarms every month and I know you're not supposed to get like you know, where you're like, oh, it's just another fire alarm, whatever. Uh, you gotta take them all seriously, and so, you know, I left, but yeah, it was very annoying because I was like, I would very much rather be eating Chipotle right now. Make sure you guys uh, eat some food with me if you want, or uh, drink something. I don't know, put me as a little podcast in the background. That's why I like to listen to mukbangs. I like to just put them on and just listen to them because I feel like people always just say so much in mukbangs and it's so funny the length of mukbangs i feel like is so underrated i love when people just make extremely long mukbangs and tell so many stories it's just amazing so yeah i love videos like that and i love just putting them on in the background so uh if you want to do that do that and uh yeah we have some chipotle today if you guys didn't know chipotle has actually some pretty bomb vegan options so first we got the chips and the guac. So the guac is vegan, but for some reason, when you order it vegetarian, it doesn't say the guac is an option. Like if you go on Postmates or whatever, I don't know what the deal is. It's a little stressful, it's fine. Um, so for me, for my bowl, I prefer burritos, but bowls look better in the thumbnail, okay? So for the bowl, I get white rice, I get a little bit of the veggies, I get the corn, I get black beans, and I get guac on top. Um, I don't really like the sofritas. They're not that good to me. They're a little too spicy. They kind of, I don't know, they're not the best, but if you do want like a meat substitute, get the sofritas. But um, yeah, let's see. Let's open up the guac. Also guys, comment down below. What food are you eating with me? Are you even eating food with me? Are you just watching me? Mmm. Mmm. So, happy new year's everyone. I hope it's good. I feel like with every new year, you know, you can fall into the mindset of like, oh, oh my god, god, it's just a new year or whatever. whatever. But I like how everyone I feel like on Twitter has really been like positive. I don't know, specifically Twitter and Instagram, I feel like everyone's like, yeah, new year, this is awesome. Mm, there, let's, let's rearrange this. There, there we go, there we go. But everybody's been really positive and maybe it's just because I'm following more positive people but I feel like a lot of the time you know people will be like oh my god it's just a new year like whatever you're just gonna fail it's like no let's not have that attitude let's have the attitude that you know it's a new year and fresh start and even though it's just a calendar thing you know it's exciting and it's a good time to reflect and be like, okay, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? What do I want to improve on? Mm, you know, what are changes I want to make? Let's open this up. We have some peach orange, um, what is this? I don't even know. It was just a juice. Mmm. So good. So bomb. Mmm. I love the aftertaste. It kind of tastes like canned peaches, but... You know. Yeah, I feel like everybody's been really positive. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but everybody seems to be positive about this new year. Maybe because it's also a new decade. So people are being more like, woo, new decade. What else? What other life updates? When I make resolutions, I try to make them more things that I can control. You know? Instead of like, Okay, this is too much information, but dad, sorry if you're watching this. My neighbors have been engaging in inappropriate activities for the past couple hours and it's very loud. So, 
if you hear anything, just know that's what's going on. But I try to make goals that I can control more, like, oh, read this certain amount of books, upload this amount of YouTube videos, you know, because before I'd make my resolutions things that were more like, get this amount of fall not resolutions, but like, you know, just goals, I'd be like, get this amount of followers, like, do this, and I, I was like, okay, that's not really like, I don't know, it just sounds more, I don't know, like, there's so many things that go into that, and it's just like, I shouldn't be focusing on that, I should be focusing more on the content, and the content creation, and like, if I'm growing from it or not, like, personally growing, not just follower growing. And sometimes I find myself getting like really wrapped up in the follower number. And like, it's just like, stop, you know, just, just chill. Okay. You have people that enjoy watching you and following you and like appreciate them. Mm. Mm. Also guys, if you could please subscribe to my vlog channel, Sonia's vlogs, I'm going to be posting more on there because I don't know. I've refound my love for vlogging. Okay. I love vlogging, I do. I was just not doing it for a while because I was like, my life is boring. <laughs> mm. That's just the thing about living in an apartment complex. Sometimes you gotta hear what your neighbors are doing and you gotta hear them when they're doing. <laughs> I have my first ever musical theater audition tomorrow. I really don't know how it is going to go. Um. Like, I really don't really know a lot about musical theater. I have to sing a song for it. So I prepared a song. They want the sheet music for it, which is very interesting. So I'm gonna purchase it off of the interwebs, print it out tomorrow. And um, yeah. What else? Life updates. Oh my god, I have a funny story. So, there's there's this guy that I was talking to. And, like, maybe two years ago. Like, literally. <laughs> he was just a huge douche. Obviously, this is just from my side of the story. But he said some shit to me. That, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm the kind of person that if I am going to be seeing something, seeing something, <laughs> seeing someone, even if it's not, you know, like super serious or whatever, just casual, they still need to treat me with respect. You know, I'm not going to put up with stupid stuff. So I was just like, okay, cool. I will see you later. And I was just like, <coughs> oh my God. Sorry. Adios. I blocked him on everything. Um, he messaged me on Snapchat with some very inappropriate messages. But like, rude and inappropriate, you know? Blocked him off of there. And I was checking, I was checking my food Instagram. Shameless self promo for my food Instagram. And he had messaged me on there cause I had blocked him on everything else. Like three days ago. I was like, boy, you really thought, like you really thought that I would see your message on Sonia's Eats. Sonia's Eats. And reply. Like, I don't. The audacity. Maybe was looking to apologize, but this is not the first time that he had tried to reach out. When he reached out on Snapchat, I thought he was maybe trying to apologize. And that's when he told me the very gross graphic things. And I was like, okay, cool. I have my, that was your chance. You have blown it. And uh, yeah, goodbye. The thing is like, one thing that I don't ever really do is block people's phone numbers. So it's like, I'm like, well, if you have a problem and you would like, to talk it through just call me like I don't know
But nah, you just gotta you just gotta slide into my food Instagram DMs with the hey. Hey W I D. I replied with I'll block you on here too. Cause I'm just I'm done, you know? I don't need that in my life. Okay. I don't need that. I haven't had any like major friendship breakups recently. But I don't know, it's really hard talking about serious things while eating Chipotle. I don't know. Oh, anyways, I saw the movie Marriage Story and it was really good. And then I also saw the new Star Wars and it was really good. I was like, <laughs> Adam Driver is just, someone tweeted recently, they were like, it's not a personality trait to think that Adam Driver is attractive. And I just felt really attacked. I was like, I get it, but for some reason I just, just can't stop thinking about it. Like, I, I don't even, I don't know how to explain it. He can put multiple layers into his acting, you know? It's so fascinating. Like, now that I've been taking acting classes and stuff to like watch movies and stuff from the perspective of someone that wants to get into acting and just to be so impressed by like the amazing like famous actors and just to see like the different levels of acting they can do and like the layers of emotion and subtext and craziness it's so it's just it's so good newfound appreciation <laughs> for the very good actors because um they bring the stories to life it's really cool mm. you still have so many chips left Hopefully they don't get soggy. Especially the actors that like do crazy amounts of work. Like Scarlett Johansson, I feel like I see her in literally everything. Like I was watching, what is it? Jojo Rabbit and she was just in it. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, like what? <laughs> do you, and then the, she was in Marriage Story and like the, I can't remember what superhero movie she's in. I'm sorry, but she's in that like, Think of how busy you are constantly. Having to memorize huge ass scripts like that. While also making sure that you are working out to maintain the weight that you're supposed to weigh and making sure you're getting enough sleep so that you're not fucking up. And like, it's just crazy. It's cool though. And then just being so famous, like you probably have a lot of a lot of interviews that people want to do of you and like eat some more chips shall we chip party but yeah i don't even know i don't know how these people do it i feel like 2020 is going to be a good year though a lot more opportunities have come up which is good i really want to try to make sure i visit my family more because i don't know i just didn't visit them that much last year mm -hmm. You know, I want to see him more. It's hard. It's hard being so far away, but I don't know. Every time I go back home, I just realize it's like, it's not where I want to be full time living at least. And I love, you know, Washington and all that stuff. I love the city and it's cool, I love Seattle too. I didn't grow up in Seattle, but I love Seattle. I always fly into SeaTac. But, you know, it's not where I wanna be. Mm, this guac is so good. Well, everyone, um, I am going to go, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, I got full. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this chill mukbang video um if you're not already subscribed please make sure to subscribe check out my vlog channel sonia's vlogs and check out my asmr channel sonia lc asmr and yeah i love you guys so much thank you for taking time out of your day to see what i was doing in mine if you watched until the end of the video comment chipotle gang and i will talk to you guys next time love you guys bye